All right, let's take a look at our storm system out here. It is a tropical depression now, according to uh, JMA and JTWC. Not named yet. JMA is going to call it Jellawad once it upgrades to a tropical storm. Pegasus would call it Kabayan. Now, here's the deal. If you are watching this not on Sunday night or Monday morning, the information is probably outdated. Make sure you check in for the latest update. Plus, today's update, I got the podium out here because we're going to break this down for you. We're going to get into the details. I would love to just sit here and flash the prettiest model up there for you and be like, that's where it's going to go. We're at that point where I'm seeing these misinformation on Facebook, things like that, people panicking because there's so much information out there and people that are not meteorologists are breaking this thing down in a just absolutely terrible way and I'm, I'm battling it so much so i hope you're watching this right now if you see in the comment section down below somebody asked where is it going to hit is it going to hit my house please answer them and say we're not sure right now and i'll tell you why so first and foremost that's the satellite picture looking a little bit more organized out here today with jtwc now putting out their forecast and actually pulls it towards the north and west keeps it as a tropical depression for about the next 24 to 48 hours it's battling a little bit of dry air a little bit of shear towards its north and then they have it starting to turn towards the north and west as a weakening in the upper level ridge starts to deteriorate a little bit towards the north that's all thanks to a bit of a shear line that's setting up and let's look at the broader picture here on satellite um, with our graphics via metro weather and it kind of gives you an idea of what i'm talking about here so here's our storm system got a developing uh, low pressure area, now tropical depression, and then here's your shear line right there. Now that's deteriorating our high pressure ridge. If that weakens enough, that'll pull this north, it'll get sheared apart, and it'll get mixed up with the shear line. That's why I call it a shear line. There's a lot of shear with it, right? Uh, that'll get mixed up with that, and it'll pull it north. It'll be nothing more than a couple thunderstorms for the Philippines. If that doesn't break it down enough, which some of the models are showing, that's why there's a big disparity in the models in the tracks here, um, then this would run more so towards the west, and which is why you always want to look at the cone of air out here, friends, because there is definitely a bit of a uh, range to be had. So let's actually, this is a little graphic I whipped up for you. Here's the possible tracks with uh, that more easterly uh, track possible here keeps it offshore gets sheared apart on um, the same token you could have this come on shore around Visayas as a pretty decent storm and the further south it goes the less it interacts with that shear the uh, higher chance we could have a, um, a pretty decent stronger storm uh, on our hands so th that's something I also want you to keep in mind the further south this goes the stronger it could get if you start to see that northward turn and it starts to get a little bit of shear on its northern flank then we're going to be dealing with a weaker storm system so let's compare the models I'm not just going to sit here and show you one I would love to and have that one be correct um, but let's compare it up here and I like this particular guidance because this is showing what the ECMWF shows um right there let's actually uh, first okay here we go let's get this located there for you so there's the ecmwf with our storm system just off the east coast of size and it kind of just runs right up the eastern seaboard and even has invest 96w trying to develop in its flank gfs also showing that gfs is actually more aggressive with the other storm system but i don't really see much convection for the initialization of a secondary storm that's why i'm just not really talking about it too much because then we go over to the german icon model watch this yeah, it kind of starts to lift a little bit towards the north, runs on there. We talk about stuff like the nav gem, though. I've been taking a look at that. It actually has been showing this uh, come on true with a direct landfall. So I do expect a northern churn. It just depends on when exactly that'll be and will it make that landfall in the Philippines or not. And uh, here's another look at kind of that upper level ridge I was talking about, right? there you can kind of see it breaking down so this will be there yeah, this is actually a good spot to kind of pause this so right here by um friday you see that ridge right there this is a high pressure ridge there's a jet stream kind of come down here and it breaks it down allows this uh area to turn off and just a bit towards north so that's what the ecmwf is picking up on which going back to my original statement there is a disparity in exactly where uh this could go um, once again, let me know if you guys like this more detailed look at it because I could easily just sit here and show you one of the models and go, this is where it's going to go, or this maybe might be where it's going to go. Watch. 
But I, I feel like you're watching a YouTube video here. You're not just looking at the local news. I also am a broadcaster on local news. I understand their time constraints. I'm told I got to cover something very important and I got less than two minutes to do it here. I got a lot of time. Um, but the, the key thing is let me know if you like these. This is our ECMWF model showing that northern churn. But there's another factor coming into play here too. Even if we get that northern churn, which, you know, this storm likely uh, landfall still not certain, but we also could be looking at the Philippine Sea effect. Could allow for some intensification. So the intensity forecast is uncertain. But look at this. See all this rainfall setting up here? That's not associated with the storm. It is indirect. So our storm starts to come off here towards north. It hits that shear line setup that's coming down. And you get that little squeeze of moisture. You get that nice northeasterly breeze that sets up here across parts of Luzon and Visayas. And you just see those winds kicking in. Uh, that is what we're talking about here, that surge in a monsoon that interaction with the shear line. So even if you don't have our storm directly impacting you, I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, East Coast is going to be seeing gale force conditions. Not a great uh, several days to be out there on a boat or anything like that because it is uh, definitely going to be a rough uh, couple of days here. Now we take a look at the broader picture here. Actually, just look at this. Uh, here's your high pressure ridge. Another look at it. Our low trying to come up and then you get that kind of squeeze with the ISO bars. But here's that trough right there that tries to settle in and that hopefully will weaken this and turn it towards the north. It's questionable if that will happen or not, but uh, definitely we're trying our, our best to, to kind of pinpoint downwind and if it does. So yeah, I know if you're out here, I, I get it. I've been covering this for over a decade. If you're met, a lot of people are mentioning storms. Well, I've been through this. Um, you don't know nothing about it. I have, I do, guys. I've been covering this for over a decade. I've been following these. I get you. You want the earliest possible. And that's why I'm trying to break down this details for you. So um, give you some of the more information. So here's the main takeaway. Right now, it is a tropical um, s s depression. Uh, I would expect a storm 24 to 48 hours. Maybe a typhoon. The further north it churns, if we get shear on it, it will not get that strong. If it stays south of that shear line, if it stays south of that high pressure ridge, we could have a much uh, more powerful storm system on our hands. So I'm going to continue to keep you guys posted. By the way, names behind me are Patreon subscribers. Just got a couple new ones today. So if you like these updates, please do come back um, and check out our Patreon. Link is down below if you want to support. Uh, this channel. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I usually don't do it this way, but I really, really want to break this one down for you, give you a look at the forecast and um, what we can expect here over the next uh, several days. And uh, uh, one other thing, going back to that original satellite picture, our friends in Palau and Yap. Uh, yeah, you guys are starting to get it too. Uh, before I let you go, I, I can't leave without mentioning this here's palau there's yap got some pretty decent thunderstorms and gales throughout the uh next 24 hours too so even if this isn't a typhoon it's some nasty weather you're not going snorkeling out there in palau today i'll tell you that uh pretty rough go at it uh, i'll have another update maybe a quicker one in about 12 hours from now so like i said at the beginning of this if you're watching all the way to the end obviously you know this at this point um check in for the latest updates and as always stay safe out there friends